too much. Okay. And we are actually recording. Okay. So, Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. And welcome back to the, Har uh, the Haunted Harper Folks House Experience. We've got some guests tonight. So, uh, yeah. So, what do you guys think? Yeah? I ain't quite processed it yet. <laughs> <laughs> to be totally honest. We had a really interesting night tonight. We had um, some repeats. Mm -hmm. um, the, the little girl in the basement was back talking to Carl. Yep. Caroline. Yeah, Caroline. Playing on seat. Yeah. Of course, she's not ever able to stay very long because her mom seems to uh, make her go to bed. Yeah, make her go to bed or pull her in. Now, is this the same that was saying Wendy at one point, or is this Olivia? She's a jokester. Okay. okay. She's yes. very so, much a jokester, and she likes to use different names, but Caroline is her name. Gotcha. Caroline. And you guys had some pretty cool uh, activity up in that room that was up in the front upstairs. Absolutely. So, uh, you see the light, it pretty much stayed red on the meters most of the time. Within a probably a six inch by six inch area was buried red. If you moved outside it, it, it died right away. Huh. And I was upstairs in the bathroom like, like as if somebody was standing right in front of the mirror. Yeah. It's not always there, but sometimes it is, and sometimes we're lucky enough to capture it. Yeah, and I believe the name Nicholas, and what was the other one that was thrown out there? Alice again. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's yes. just, uh, ask Alice. Alice. Yeah, ask right. Alice. It's funny too because a lot of times when I'm walking up the stairs, I refer to that big uh, mirror. It's kind of like Alice in the Looking Glass, mm -hmm. and like in that song by Jefferson Airplane, it's like ask Alice. Mm. And, uh, I think uh, talking about the draft in the room, and it popped up on there. Yeah, the draft. Yeah. It's very responsive to the things we were saying. Yeah. I mean, it was, you know, connect yeah. people. And even the couple, there was a couple that was here, and he was kind of like, he's a little skeptic, he wasn't sure, but I think he kind of like got him and said his name, because he was talking about the names, and mm -hmm. his name, Matthew, spelled his whole name out, came out, he goes, ah, oh, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I think it's connecting yeah. with you. And then it said Allison, or it was and that's who they were here visiting. Yeah. So I said, it's definitely connecting with you. So I'll let them talk. They seem to have a pretty good connection well, too. Nicholas is my little brother's name. And then oh. y'all got Robert. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. That's my father and my older brother's name too, so. Now, interesting. Not to put you guys on the spot, but now, do you feel comfortable sharing that little bit about the, uh, the, the candle that was towards the end? Or would you rather? Oh, kind of yeah. Um, the entire group, except for you, you was down here. Um, we were all standing in the, uh, the base room. The base room, and I was casually leaning up against the doorway, and I uh, heard something over my shoulder. And about the time I looked, in the very far back room, from right to left, there was a shadow, broad shoulders, almost like a, a, a man. Went from right to left. I mean, it even broke the candle when it went by. Yeah. This is the visual of the candle. Um, unnerved me. First experience I've ever had. Uh, yeah. To the point that it, it it knotted up my stomach. This house will do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like all the lights were out before we. The reason why we're down here is because all the candles were turned back on. Yeah. So. You had to come down here and turn them back off. Yeah, I thought they left them on. Uh, I came down and I was actually taking uh, time-lapse photos down here tonight, which if I find anything, I will share with everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, but came down to get the camera and was cutting lights off. And they're like, that light's back on? And I was like, yeah, I thought you left it on. Even the one in the kitchen, you said, is, is back yeah. on now. I turned so, them off. All the candles, all the lights, off. They were back on. Yeah. They're mischievous tonight, I guess. They yeah. always are. Um, we just never know what what they're going to do or what they're, you know, what they're going to tell well, us. Was she telling you guys about the tablets? The yes, yes, yeah. she did. Yeah. yeah. Which part? Oh, the, the tablets. The five tablets that yeah. are, um, yeah, yeah, that's, um. I'm like trying to get functioning again. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I definitely appreciate appreciate you sitting down and chat with us about, about it. Well, we had a blast. This is our first ever time in Savannah. Never been here. Wow. And uh, definitely <laughs> a one of a kind experience. 
Well, we're glad you guys but, came yeah, out. We're, we'll be back with y'all. You very, very, cool. very educational, very knowledgeable about what you do, and, and it was uh, huh. quite an experience, like, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was. It was an experience. This house definitely pushes the limits with you. It yeah. will. It's almost like sometimes they feel. I say they. The energies that are here, they feel off standard, like they're observing. Yeah. Uh, they're learning the people here. And once they get comfortable with you, is that's when they. Yeah. Hate the, they come forward. They right. literally yeah. come forward. Typical child, basically. Yeah. Exactly. Speaking of coming forward with stuff, you want to tell them about going up the <laughs> stairs? This? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. So after my uh, experience with Caroline's laying hide and seek down here, uh, we were all going up back upstairs to investigate upstairs. And I was the last one to go up, and Tammy was in front of me, and we were talking about something. I don't remember what it was. And um, I felt be careful on the stairs. <laughs> I felt my shirt get tugged from behind, and I turned, and as I did, I, the box that was on the shelf next to the stairs got ripped off, and it hit the side of my leg and tumbled down <laughs> stairs into the basement. And then on my device, uh, through the app, it said, feed me. <laughs> Which has come up like several times. And that came up twice as it came up stairs near the end of the investigation. It came back and said, you, and then feed me. So I'm guessing Caroline wanted to... Uh, well, she said she couldn't leave. Right. You know, she, she couldn't can't come upstairs. She just come upstairs. For some reason, she has to be down here. Now, when I was using the pendulum, <clears throat> um, she did say that whoever was... It's like she needed to stay down here because her nanny... Or her sitter was here. Okay. Not her mother, but her nanny. So because her mother wasn't here all the time, I guess. It's almost like she's more free to do and move around and play. Right. When mom's not around. Mm -hmm. And then in you know how usually when mom comes up, it's usually yeah, she's, she's instantly gone. gone. Yeah. yeah. Mom definitely suppresses the baby girl there. Mm -hmm. But she's very mischievous. She likes to play. Didn't hear Henry tonight. Henry's one, you know, and through the historical research, we have discovered that there are several Henrys, and there's actually two Henry Isabel combinations in the family. Mm -hmm. and those names come up a lot. Yeah, yeah quite a bit. I hear you interesting about Didn't hear it a lot. I mean, we didn't get like definite names on that tonight. We did get no. Hunter. He finally showed up at the end, but... And Jacob was in that other room, so he did come up, Jake. Okay. Yeah. So we are getting still, you know, a lot of um, solid connections with certain energies. Uh, I didn't hear from George tonight. No, George didn't show up. But we did play some music. We find that it really is interesting. So if you're looking for some energies and wherever you're researching, try playing some music and see mm -hmm. what happens. Yeah. Because it seems to draw something. Mm -hmm. Something happens. So, yeah, well, guys, I mean, it's yet another crazy Friday night here. Uh, and, yeah, I thank you guys for, for joining yeah, us. Thank this night. part of it, too. This well, is a blast. This is a burst, so yeah. appreciate you coming out and doing this, too. So. Yeah, because the only way you can experience it is it's to come join us. To come do it. And, it, yeah, I was a skeptic when I walked in here, now i got my mind wandering. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. There's, there's definitely some unexplainable things that's happening here tonight. Yeah. Well, when you get back out this way, definitely come out and uh, yeah. and maybe you can help us debunk a few things that are out here. Uh, great call on the the smoke thing because it that was one last thing you mentioned. Um, we do occasionally get the the smell of like fire or smoke in the air yeah, uh, from like time that, to time. Like a match or and whatever. and you were saying it could be like. Um, Back in the, the time period that this house was occupied, mm -hmm. you know, the primary heat source was fire. Um, and with fire, you're going to have smoke, you're going to have soot. Over time, that's going to coat the walls. Um, hum humid days, walls are going to expand. Pores in the walls are going to expand and allow that, allow that smell to come out. And that, that could be where your smell is coming from. Makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. We're able to kind of like put something to rest so whenever we smell that, now, would that be the same? We get it a lot. Oh, I yeah. noticed it more during January and February. I mean, we absolutely were like, what 
in the world? It smelled, it smelled like somebody was trying to start a fire yeah. down. And well, we were upstairs. Be, this is also a drafty house, you know, January, February. What do people do in their house? Mm, they have fires. Yeah. So, I mean, but, I mean, they don't do that now. But is this, like, you think there's enough humidity? How much humidity well, do we have? Well, well, we haven't had a lot of rain in the past few I'm years. I'm talking about, like, in January, like, February. Can um, it, it be the same thing? Yeah, that or the wind blowing down the same reason. It's blowing, blowing back out through. Gotcha. I couldn't tell you the last time they said they probably cleaned out. Yeah, right. That's a good point. Right. right. There, there's a number of things it could be. I mean, it could be coming from the inside, but I'm sure this is a drafty house. So, I mean, it could be coming from here. Yeah, we'll we kept trying to draft it up, upstairs to yeah. on the meters. So. Yeah. And they tend, down in the basement, have you guys noticed that the energies tend to stay lower? But upstairs, mm. they will go high? Yes, so, that box set above. Yeah, yeah they keep trying to raise it up. Yeah, poof. Yeah, like the rest of all, they're rich. Yeah, yeah, I know, but that's going to oh, require okay. a breather and yeah, a I'm suit not going that's. Without a breathing apparatus. No, that Sometimes messes. Sometimes they tell us to go up in the attic. They're, they're trying to tell you supposed to go up. Yeah, above you, um, attic, crawl yeah, space, please. whatever, all kinds of stuff comes up about that. And it's like, I've been up there once when we were trying to put the cameras in, <laughs> and after doing it once, it's like, mm, Come you know. back, you look well, like you said crawl fun. space. Who's it that was telling me that this floor feels really hollow? Mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah. In that uh, lock, that vault in there. Right. Yeah, well, we believe that that is um, some kind of a passageway. And the energies actually are the ones who started all that. Yeah, told George. Us that. George. Yeah. So we shall see. And as soon as we find out, we will let you know. Yeah. Uh, but Come be part of our investigation yeah. and experience yeah. it for yourself. Yeah. Join the team for the evening. Join the team. You might be on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a surprise for us. There you go. <laughs> but but it's been fun. fun. I've had a blast. I'm, we're glad. Yeah, I was a little, yeah. And then yeah. I, I kind of had a blast, kind of got into it there for a minute. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Appreciate we're it glad you guys out. came out. Yeah. And it's helping them to restore this place too, so uh, yeah. and it's also a good thing. It's a so. feel good kind of event. So yeah, yeah. Well, uh, maybe we will see you guys next Friday. If not, maybe we'll see you the Friday after that. And uh, until then, good night. Night. Good night. <laughs> night, everybody.